Welcome back everyone to Cause Streams TV. As always, I am Cause. I'll be your host today and we are done season four, week 16. And we are this close to the War Within release. We are about two resets away. And if you've got early access, you're going to be playing in just over a week from now. So let's get right into the video. And what are we going to be talking about today? Well, when it comes to the end of the expansion, things start to slow down. I enjoy World of Warcraft. And I enjoy all aspects of it, really. Like Mythic Plus is fun. Doing Mythic Raid and Raiding on Alts is fun and all. And doing Mythic Plus on Alts is fun. But sometimes you want to do something different. Sometimes you just want to go revisit old zones. See what's out there. See what the beautiful world of warcraft truly looks like so that's what i did this week i went out and i explored the world of warcraft my way i decided i was gonna go on a mount collecting adventure so for those of you that don't know about the site there is a site out there simple armory simplearmory.com if you love search for it and you put in your character and the realm you're on it actually pulls up the progress overview of that character shows you your quests collectibles mounts achievements reputations all that stuff i like to go here because i go take a look at the mounts every now and then and i say hey what can i get rather quickly or what other dungeons do i need to start farming as you can see i took a significant break in legions this is kind of empty but let's scroll down to what i did i decided that i was going to do a couple of things first i was, went to burning crusade i went on my rogue and i farmed out the magar rep and got the eight riding talbuck i was actually friendly on the rogue and i needed to get to exalted so between doing all of the quests and killing the mobs that give the obsidian war beads i was able to get to exalted in about two and a half hours so rather quickly not bad and that got me eight more mounts i also noticed that my torrent collect class collection only had one kodo how could that even be a thing so i went in and i bought the other five kodos i needed that brought us up to 13 total mounts and then i was like i can't stop now this is going so good and since you can transfer your currency back and forth i decided to send my time warp badges from time walking and because the legion time walking event is on i got the valshara hippogriff it is a pretty ugly mount so that's why i wanted to start here because they start to get better after this Next up, we start. We decided that we're going to farm Onyxia because right now you can go to Dalaran, take the portal to Dustwallow March, and then get to Onyxia rather quickly. And I took advantage of that, started moving my alts there and killing Onyxia. And it turns out, I think it took me about a total of 98 attempts to get this mount. It is not a bad mount to have, especially with how old it is. I'm glad that we got this one. And because we got Onyxia, that completed our achievement, Awake the Drakes, giving us the final Drake that we needed. And when you complete that achievement, you actually get awarded another Drake. So we got the Green Emerald Drake Dragon. And because we were collecting so many mounts this week, 23 in total, we got the achievement for obtaining 400 mounts on a single character. And that means that gave us the Frenzied Fell Talon. It looks similar to the one you can get from Firelands, but it is green. Sticking with the green theme, I've always wanted the black dual crafting panther and i thought that my jewel crafter had the rep high enough to already own the recipe i was wrong i went in and i actually started doing the rep for the order of the cloud serpent on my jewel crafter and because there's bonus rep that you can get right now i was getting about 13 1400 per daily hand in so it only took me a few days to get the remainder of my revered rep up to exalted and then we went to the auction house so we bought the two mounts that we were missing one of them was the jade panther so we bought two copies of this guy we already had the blue Blue and the red panthers and they were created sitting in my bags and we also got the sunstone panther so this is the yellow variant of the jewel crafting mounts and after i got my reputation up to exalted we could now go buy the recipe so i went in and i bought the recipe to make the onyx panther all of the other panther mounts from jewel crafting sitting in my bag so we bought it we used the recipe and that gave us the beautiful black onyx panther from jewel crafting i've always wanted this mount and i am so glad i had it yes it cost me about 100k total to buy the two i needed buy duplicates and then make everything Thing. but overall this was absolutely worth it i just love this mount and this mount in theory shouldn't count because it is a store mount but i saw someone riding around on this and i'm like what is that and how do i get it this is the runebound fire lord that you get from the heroic pack from cataclysm and i just i had to this this mount looks absolutely phenomenal so i'm a little chamois with his fireland set it just it looks great i had to buy it i love this mount and i love how it looks so i get to fly around on ragnaros but wait, 
there's more. I said there were 23 total mounts and I haven't bought the last one. That was only 22. I realized some of my characters still have the Taros neck on it. And I had about four characters that had the Taros neck. All I needed was the Dathya neck and I could buy the Autok that you can get from having 30 Renown with the Tuscar. So I went in and I started farming Dathya and LFR and I got lucky. I ended up getting the neck piece that's a lie. I didn't get it. I traded someone 25k gold for it just so I can get this mount. So this mount did cost me 25k gold, but absolutely worth it. So now I have both of the purchasable Autoc mounts. Oops, and I just sold it back. That's not what I meant to do. And here it is, the Autoc mount that you can get for Taros's neck and the Dathia neck. It is an aquatic mount, so it streams really fast. And this is going to be one that I use when I'm up in this area. And that was all 23 mounts that we caught this week. That is one of the end of expansion things I like to do. I think we're going to farm out a couple more because we go back to Simple Armory. There's a few options we can do. Currently, I am farming the Utgrad Pinnacle Heroic Boss so that I can get the final blue Proto Drake from Wrath of the Lich King out of the dungeons. And then I will send all those characters back after. Re and now that the reset's done, I will send all those characters back to Underot to see if we can finally get it. We are at 300 attempts with Underot. But yeah, for those who haven't checked it out, check out Simple Army. Really cool site just to kind of go through your go through achievements and things that you may be missing. And if you click on a link, it'll take you directly to the Woehead, ar Woehead article that tells you how to achieve your goal. And now that we are done talking about all those mounts that we got, and it was quite a bit this week, let's jump into what else we did last week, week 16. And that is on our main characters, the DK and the Retribution Paladin. This is what we're going to talk about next. So we managed to do some keys on the DK with the push team. This is what we do. It was Sunday night. We decided to push some 15s, and boy, did we push some 15s. We did a few 15s, two of them which didn't give me any IO, and two of them which did. So let's talk about the IO we got, and if you can see what I see... Like I said last week, I was considering getting 3,200. Well, I didn't just consider it. I did it, and I went a little bit over. We ended up, we ended the week last week at 3,205. We started at 3,171. So an increase of 34 IO, and I am very happy with these numbers. In the description below and right now at the top right of your screen, I'm going to link the Ruby Life Pools that we successfully timed. It was released on Monday. Go, go check that video out. It is down in the description below. That was the Ruby Life Pools we timed. That gave us 14 points. And then we went and did a 15 no coot. It wasn't the cleanest key. We actually had a 16. I made a couple missteps and did some silly pulls that I shouldn't have. And we ended up bombing that key. So we took it down to a 15. We timed the 15. And that gave me 20 more points for that wonderful total of 30 or io bring us up to 3205 very happy with that on the dk i don't know what's really left on him there's a few we have a 9 11 and a 10 this week that we could push up for some io but we'll see how i'm feeling we may just end here this is really the last week that we're going to be pushing keys so with the dk i don't know what i'm going to be doing this week i may park him over and do some mountain farms maybe check if i can get some rep definitely going to be cleaning up his bags because they are an absolute mess They've, there's food and mats and all that fun stuff in there we're going to clean up his quest log get rid of all that we're gonna have him ready for the war with it even though he's not gonna be my main we're still gonna get him ready for that okay and we are on the death knight picking up our final vault of season four in dragonflight this is it this is for all the marbles let's see what we get we have mythic track hands we could use this for the haste verse because these are some of our better stats and they are mythic track we could upgrade it if we wanted to we have a raid finder pole arm which we don't have the appearance for and then we also have the raid finder helm which we also don't have the appearance for we're looking at a 522 mythic track cloak and then we also have the platinum band star which we could use for the autoc mount but we already have it so what appearance do we want to take today how does this look all right okay okay and how does is this the lfr head oh i actually really like that head is that the lfr set it is, and I kind of really like this set. I like the colors. I didn't even realize this is what the Warrior set looked like. What have I been doing with my life? I've been so caught up in the Heroic set. Oh my god. So, you know what? Let's take the headpiece. And now all Transmog is transferable anyway to all characters. And shabam. DK has... Last week we had a 15 Algathar Academy, and this week we have a 15 Algathar Academy. What is going on, Blizzard? Holy... So anyway, that is it for the DK. 
All right, all right, all right, and we're moving right along, and we're going to start talking about the Red Paladin, and how did the Red Paladin do last week? Let's first start off by talking about his item level. We finished week 15 at 519.5, and we finished week 16 at 522.94. I finally broke that 520 barrier, and the Paladin has felt amazing. It's been a lot of fun blasting on the Paladin. He is doing numbers. We were knocking out some 12s again this week. It felt really good. So what did we upgrade on the Paladin gear-wise? Well, we got his cloak up from 509 to 522 we got his wrist up from 509 to 519 we've got his his champion ring the burning thrones from 499 to 515 we got his other ring up from 509 to 515 and we also got our boots up from 525 to 5 28 little upgrades go a long way to push you over that number that you wanted to be at so i'm really happy to have hit over 520 on the paladin i've had a lot of fun with him i've been both tanking and dpsing on this paladin whatever people need i am not a huge fan of the paladin prop paladin play style but I have gotten the hang of it, and it seems to be doing just fine. Throwing your shields around, healing other people. I'm really bad at using Word of Glory, though. That's something I need to improve. But overall, the Paladin feels fine, regardless of what spec I play. And he has been a lot of fun, especially in DPS. Moving right along from there, let's talk about his IO increases. We finished last week at 27, 28. And what did we end this week at? Well, taking a look, we are at 2835. I'm really happy with how I did on the Paladin, to be honest. We ended up pushing a whole bunch of 12s and then doing some low keys. It was, it was, it was really a lot of fun. I really did enjoy playing the Paladin. He also got to go Heroic Raid, so he's going to have his Raid slots and his Mythic Vault slots. Tube opened in here in a second, but let's quickly go over what I we got this week. We did a 12, no cooed... For 21 points, we did a two, we two chested a 10 Wilderman for four points, but then we also did another 12 Wilderman that we single chested for 17 points. We did a 12 Ultrac Valley. Just kidding, it's an Azure Vault. We did a 12 Azure Vault. We two chested this one for 10 points. We also did a 12 Ruby Life Pools, which gave us 50 five points we two chested this one paladin did great total of 107 io for the paladin and it felt really good to see those numbers go up especially that ruby giving us 55 points that felt fantastic so that's where the paladin ends this week at let's jump in and open his vault all right and here we are on the paladin we are going to open his vault in retribution spec he will have his raid and he will also have the three mythic slots available to him oh oh we've got some updates to how the great vault look i wonder if this is why my macro no longer works but let's see what did we get we have tier hands hero track we have the branch something we can play with but we got our best trinkets we have wrists so far nothing is speaking to me let's see we've got legs mythic track legs definitely this will be a huge in their tier already this is currently the runner up for what we're taking we've got a mythic track waist piece as well this would be a huge upgrade crit mastery we want mastery haste and then we also have another set of hands mythic track haste and verse honestly this is the largest stat upgrade that we could possibly get so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this up and just before i grab these if you guys notice down below we now have a warning saying unable to earn new rewards after this week any unclaimed rewards will be lost after the launch of the war within that means that there will be no more rewards for the remainder of the season until the war within is launched so no more great vault this is it this is the very last vault we are getting week 16 season 4 this is it it's over and we start with a 12 ruby life pools tyrannical afflicted and bull Bolstering. We'll see if we push keys this week, but that is what we have on the Paladin. And the legs bring us up to 523.38 item level. So what's the plan on the Paladin this week? Well, it's kind of the same thing we were talking about with the DK. His quest log's already clean, though, and his bags are already clean. So we're going to take a look at his bank, maybe clean that up a little, throw some more stuff in the auction house. And then, you know what? Maybe I'll knock out a key or two there. It's not going to be a stressful week. I may just take it easy. I'm not too worried. This isn't probably going to be the Paladin that I take the War Within. I'm thinking of taking my Lightforge Draenei into the War Within from Mr. Pandaria. That also depends on what the eye level is of, from the gear we get. There was a recent Wowhead article that said our gear will be scaled to 467 when our mob characters come over. So that's not bad. I'm thinking of maybe picking up some gear from the World Weekly event. So maybe we'll do that. But that's the plan of the Paladin. We'll see where, where he lands. He may not do anything this week. He may get a little more IO. I'm happy with how far I've got. I've enjoyed this class. I've learned a lot on it. So you'll just have to wait and see on what I do with him this week. But I'm definitely going to be streaming. And you can tune in to find out. 
All right, and we have some bonus vaults we're going to look at. We're opening the De Demon Hunter. I believe I did one eight key on here, so we will get a Mythic Track piece. Let's see if it's an upgrade. It is the crit verse weapon. It is an upgrade in regards to item level. So you know what? We're going to take it and then see if we can upgrade it. And that is the last vault for the Demon Hunter. And one more bonus character. I did run the mage through, I believe, some LFR. I don't know, but he's got a vault. So let's check it out. Let's see what he gets on his vault. Ooh, exciting, exciting. 480 legs, 486 shoulders, tear track, and 480 shoulders. Well, we're going to take the shoulder tears. Why not? It doesn't really matter, and it is a tiny upgrade, but we're taking it. Why not? And what are some of the other things we've been doing this week? Well, I've because the memory, the world event is still active and with the residual memories that you can get from doing the quest, from doing the zone and doing the events, I've actually decided that I'm going to try to do the dailies on my hunter every day just so I can do the, so I can get the bonus residual memory that you get from killing the last boss and handing in the quests about. 10,000 just a little over 10,000 residual members you get and that's enough to buy a few pieces of gear a few rings couple necks trinkets couple weapons depending on what you want to play and i'm thinking i'm going to use all those before they expire and put them on some of those alts that have really low eye level level gear so that way when i'm farming it doesn't feel as bad going into the war within that's something else that i plan to continue doing this week that i've just kind of been doing just as a little side thing just for fun and that is really it so that was the recap for week 16 of dragonflight we are just under two weeks away two resets away from the release of the war within and i am excited i hope you guys are really excited over the course of this week i'm going to take the time to really clean up all of my alts quest logs all of their bags bags and banks and things that i don't need i'm just going to start transferring things over currency everything onto a single character it's most likely going to be my dk or my paladin or any of my alts now because they're all 70 and i'm going to use them as to kind of keep all that gear on and any extras that i find and then you also have the war bank so that's going to be the plan for this week in terms of pushing on the dk or the rep paladin again i'm not really sure right we're reaching the end so i may do just your generic keys just to get something in my vault just to get some more gold at the end of the season because the tokens are actually worth quite a bit but i don't know like so that's really the plan when it comes to that i do plan on doing some more mount and rep grinds i mean i'm so close to getting a couple more mounts i figure you know what why not why not see what i need and just go kind of do something a little more relaxing and chill in the game go explore the new zones see what's going on and the last thing i want to do before the release of the war within is actually get that raid video i keep telling you guys about I have the script all written out, but I just haven't sat down to do the recording, and I really want to do that for you guys, so I want to get that done, and that is what this week is looking at. So that's what's happening in the game. Now, something I want to show you guys in real life way, 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 way back this season, I posted a video of a new family member that we invited, Little Pug Baby, and he was called Maverick. Well, his pug mom had to go away for a little bit, so I get to dog sit baby maverick he is not as much of a baby as you guys remember him he has grown up quite a bit but here is baby mav i get to dog sit him and my boy yoda a beagle and then i also have my pug so that is what's going on in my real life he is a bundle of work but a bundle of joy he gets me up at 6 30 in the morning every day so this is what the, is going on in my real life Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this is your first time here checking out my videos, thank you for tuning in and checking it out. Hopefully you liked it and you'll give me a like and maybe you'll subscribe. If you're returning, thank you once again for watching. I hope the vaults were good to you. I hope you guys are as excited as I am going into the War Within. And now is the perfect time to get some of those end of expansion tasks that you wanted to get done, done. So happy farming, everyone. I will see you on the next one. Peace out.